welcome back all right so i think i know where to go for this i'm not entirely sure but i'm pretty sure it's this dude wait no fuck <laughs> it's <laughs> i think it's one of these guys in the houses um uh, I, I am using like a guide, but the guide didn't specifically tell me everything I needed to know. Uh, nope, that's not you. There's a dude here I talked to before, two parts ago, I remember. Um, and he said he'd give me a private number. But like, I didn't know where the fuck it was to. I think it's this dude, right? You know the Stoic Club in Sumner's? You need to call a secret number for reservations if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I warned you though, it's a strange place. There we go. There we go. Um, the weird part though is like he didn't give me the number before. Um, I talked to him a couple times. If you go back in the second part, and he just told me he had a secret number he'd give me, and it was like, what the fuck? Are you gonna give it to me or not? Um, so I guess I had to go trigger it by going to the Stoic Club, and then coming back. Whatever though. Let's see if I can call that. Yep, there it is. So I already knew what to do, I just didn't... I did it in the wrong order. It seems like that always happens a lot with this game. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Miruk, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Like, it seems like, um... The best way to go about this, if you don't have a walkthrough... Would be just to talk to everybody first. Talk to the whole town first. And then do it a second time. Because doing that will trigger anything that didn't get triggered but that's so like tedious you know i ain't doing that oh shit what's this hmm huh. this is the club i expected um like disco lights and shit you know did actually speaking seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your rip hood Repudish what the fuck? Repudiation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Yes, of course. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. Irrefutably. I finally awaken the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard uh, enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. I want to be in this comfortable zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My I, my id is telling me. That, that's, that's really cool. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Oh, finally, here's something important. Incredible. <laughs> You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. The sailor's wife, right? She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. And st uh, anyway, the absolute irony and study of self-identification is blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You don't understand what the hey everyone is talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water. And the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. Actually, it's an easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. The show, it's already started. Everyone starts at the, zo at the stone on stage and philosophizes. What? Doesn't it sound stupid? Okay, so there's a couple people in here that think this whole thing is dumb. At least. I finally awaken the inner me, the true self. Wait, no, is this... Oh, wait, did I... Did I, got, I didn't... Oh, wait, no, it is her. Okay, what, what? Magic cake. You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Wait a minute. Okay, then don't get in my way while I search... For the little girl within me. Did I talk to her? Mmm, I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry, I was sleeping. What the fuck? Wait. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a while now. I just talked to you. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? 
No. Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Wait, so he can see it? Yeah, I think I did that before, not too long ago, but... I think he called me randomly when I was somewhere where I couldn't save and he let me save there. They should just give me a phone I could just call anytime. That'd be awesome. Okay, anyways. What, what? Magic cake? You can't, yeah, I came here to try your magic cake. I see. Okay. Why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? What? So she's going to the beach. Oh, shit. That was easy enough. Um, we'll just freeze. Shit. I can't do anything right now. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the sailor should have just gone in the club himself and talked to her. He wants to save his marriage. I'm like a, you know, a small child <laughs> trying to deal with marriage issues. Alright, let's see. Where is she at? That's not her. At least I don't think so. Said there was a cart on the beach. It'd be cool if I could um, use the teleport, but also cancel it at the same time, just so that I could get a quick run going. Sort of like uh, some sort of like dash cancel. <laughs> some complicated uh, game mechanic. Is she even on the beach? She said beach. Shit. This fucking crazy guy. There's another crazy guy. Oh god. Huh. Did I miss her? I. I. Yeah, I must. Oh fuck. I guess we'll talk to that chick in the bikini, but I don't- Oh, there she is, right? No. Yeah, no, that, that ain't it. But hey, look, it's this dude. He doesn't want to fight now, I guess. We'll just take him out real quick. Don't even know what he's doing here. <laughs> or what he even is. Is a mole rat or something? Let's talk to her. No, yeah, so it's- She's not even here. Where the fuck is she? She said a cart on the beach. Hmm. Unless she's like above the beach. Okay, you fucking liar. You're not on the beach. I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake. I thought ma making cake would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all leftover material. This is a very special magic cake. What the fuck did you- <laughs> This isn't cake. Mirik had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. Hmm. The lamb in the far east. Okay. Oh, the place of Pooh. The crown prince. Are we gonna get to- Oh, there's Pooh. Is this the fourth and final member? Prince Pooh, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. 
Oh, fuck yeah. The best character in the game. Pooh. Just because of his name. Use the treasures of Dala Dalam as you wish. Go in peace. Pull open the chest. Whoa, cup of life noodles. Oh, so are we fighting? Brain food? Yeah, these are like... Uh, I think that's a... PP item, right? Brain stone. Those are some pretty, uh... Pretty top-notch items. Hello, is that you, Miruk? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's no big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. What the fuck? <laughs> I deposited $740 into your bank account, taking away what you've spent. You should now have... Yeah, 63000 <laughs> What the fuck? Your dear old dad was thinking about hitting the hay. Oh, he has a phone on his head. <laughs> okay. Alright, yeah, yeah, we got it. So he's just a fucking tele a human telephone. Okay, let's check out Pooh at least. Uh, oh shit. Okay, good. He started at level 15. Don't have to worry about leveling him up from scratch. Alright. He has PP too. What does he got? Healing, that's it. And he has no weapons. Wait, tiny ruby? Oh shit, that's the jewelry that we probably need. Okay, so we're gonna meet Pooh soon then. Bottle of water. Because we have to bribe that dude at the museum with uh, jewelry, so it must be that. I actually want to look at it real quick. Tiny ruby, an old treasure from Dalam. Yeah, it's definitely something we just have to give away. Prince Pooh, you're my favorite. Blush, tee hee hee. So is Pooh, um, like Indonesian or something, or, or of Indian faith or some shit? I don't know where the fuck this is. I don't know what I'm talking about. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mmm. It's like a... It's like in the sky? Like there's clouds and shit. Or is that water? No. It looks like a floating... Floating island. Preet? Poot? What is Poot? Did you just fart? Oh, Prince Poot, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. What the fuck? Without you? Says that like I always, I always uh, check in on her. Everybody wants a piece of poo, you know what I'm saying? There's a bottle of water inside. This dude gotta say, please come in. Look around the house as much as you want. Yeah, I'm the prince, so I'm taking whatever I want. Oh, Prince Pooh, do you have time to play with me? Happy me, patty cake, patty cake. Okay. How old is Pooh, anyways? Prince Pooh. I just roasted some garlic and ate it, so the room still stinks. The house just look like, looks like it stinks in general. I heard that Prince Pooh is deeply into Moo training. I want to help him if I can. Yeah, I'm Prince Pooh. A jar of deli sauce. You know what you do do everything well, right? Do do. Oops. Say Prince Pooh. Are you still popular with the girls? Seems like it. 
I've heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days. Prince Pooh, blush. You're such a hunk. Oh god. The Lamb Restaurant. We accept dollars. Okay. Do I even have any money? No, I don't. I guess I'll just take your stuff. This ain't no restaurant. There's a bed right here. There's not even a table. Bowl of rice gruel. I guess we're just taking it. And a bottle of water. We serve water, rice gruel, and those sorts of things. What would you like? Okay, no, I don't want none of this stuff. I can get all this for free. I'm the prince. Can't you just serve me for free? I wish I could recover my pee pee just by drinking water, even though I have never seen him before. I heard that the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, what is pee pee anyway? It's weird. It's like people don't see me as prince. Oh, that looks fucking weird. Bunny people. And this looks even weirder. Okay. Um, I think I'll go talk to the bunny people first. They're probably not gonna let me in. Who are you talking to? What? These statues? As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. Okay, yeah, this is nothing. Yeah, no, this place is stretched way up into the sky. This is definitely not water, it's just clouds. And the ends of islands, which somehow haven't fallen apart. This is Mu, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Mu, you'll pass through. Moo is Moo. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Pooh. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long! What the fuck? So this is what'll happen if I, if I take on this training? Oh shit. Okay, it's just happening. Hey, she's looking at me. Ah, Prince Pooh, I'm a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Pooh, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say, it is true. Um, I touched uh, one of the keys because I just thought I should get up, so I don't know if that I should have done that or not, but wait a minute. Let's go back up. Let's see if it triggers again, because if it is, then she's just a distraction. I have a feeling. Uh, okay, no. I think that must be important. I thought that was like a sign of... Because uh... like in, in meditation, you have to like break free from all distractions and all that crap, so... I thought that was just like a, a test, and I wasn't supposed to do that, but we'll go see. We'll go see if I failed training already or not. One of these, uh, these girls from the village telling me I should stop. Um, okay, no, I talked to this dude. I must go back and talk. Talk to the, the first guy I talked to, right? Hopefully I didn't fuck this up. I won't say anything. Go to Mu, the place of emptiness, again. Oh. I won't say anything. Go back. Yeah, I think that was a, a distraction. She set me up. There's so many girls here, too. It's kind of weird, and they all want me. No one's ever uh, lusted over Ness like that, you know? So. Pooh must really be the shit. You know what I'm saying? No pun intended. Alright, let's see if we can do this again. No 
Someone better fucking interrupt me this time. This bitch. Ah, Prince Pooh, I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you to stop meditation immediately. Yeah, I knew that was a distraction, but I fell for it anyways. No. Fuck you. Go away. Who's next? Someone else is probably going to try and distract me. That's what I'm saying. Girls ain't nothing but trouble. Who the fuck? Is that me? Is that old me? Prince Pooh. I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Uh, I feel like I just have to. Oh shit. So, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms, do you accept this? I might as well. Oh, fuck. Ah, Prince Pooh, without arms and legs, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your eyes out. What the fuck is this game? You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Oh, wait, did he say ears? Sure, go ahead, take it. Just take it all, I'm already fucking dead. <laughs> so, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? What the fuck is going on? So, Prince Pooh, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that. Do you? So, you can't answer? You can't even move? Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Yeah, sure, fucking take that shit. Do you accept? I will take your mind, Prince Pooh. Know that I will possess it. I will possess it. Prince Pooh, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. Okay. What the fuck? Well, I guess I'm completely fine, so... That was just, uh... Must have been an illusion or something. Or that must be what really happens when you meditate. If anyone has ever med meditated out there. If they can confirm this. Yeah, that was, that was definitely, uh... Some hardcore shit. Hopefully I'm going to the right place this time. I like this place though, it's nice. I am proud. You have completed your mood training. There is nothing more to teach you uh, from the ho holy writings. Prince Pooh, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Miruk is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Pooh. Now that you've completed your training, search out Miruk at once. For all beings from the earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Oh shit, I'm leveling up, what the fuck? What? Okay. Okay, I'm just leveling up. What the fuck? Ooh, teleport. Okay. Oh, teleport B. What the hell? Wait, I have two teleports now. Is Pooh? Oh, shit. He just shows up. My name is Pooh. I am the one who will fight beside you. <laughs> I am the servant of Miruk. I will obey Miruk. Miruk. Your life is in your hands. My life. Alright, we fucking got everybody now. This is awesome. I've been waiting for Pooh for a long ass time. Pooh joined you. Alright, there we go. 
the final member. It was all thanks to this uh, magic cake. I can no longer make magic cakes, but it doesn't matter because now I'm selling magic tarts, which tart tastes even better than magic cakes. I only have this. You reminded me how much I love this job. I kind of want to buy a tart though and see um, what happens if I eat it. Ah, uh, fuck no. I just looked that up later. I ain't spending $400, $480 on a magic tart. Plus, she'll just stay there, so I think it's fine. Um, Pooh had something, though. I actually want to... Okay, so... That's weird how I can't... If I click PSI, it doesn't go to Paula. But she is def She's a PSI user as well, right? Let's see what this does. Uh, we'll just go back to... Oh, shit, we can go to Delon. Uh, Summers. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow, that's amazing. That is an awesome teleport. Okay, so that... That must be what we need to do. Um, whenever we're stuck, because I was stuck at... Um, I went to Mr. Saturn Village. And I couldn't teleport out. Like, there was no straight paths. And I just kept running into shit. This was off screen, because I was just trying to... Um, get some shit level and organize everything but yeah so i'm guessing this is why that you can do this it looks like there's going to be one more teleport even possibly i wonder what that is so, wait did i ever go in the hospital yet i completely forgot about this place Before I leave, I think I'm actually going to leave this time when I talk to the sailor, so. I might as well check this place out real quick. This is some nice music, too. I can examine each one of you for $70. No. They really don't need any treatment? Alright. My cousin's a nurse in Tucson. She's not good at administering shots. The only one she gave me was painful. And that dude's just gonna take a mushroom off my head if I have one. Ooh, I need that. Alright. Oh, this fucking guy again. Where's he gonna land? On the boat? Yep. Alright, go ahead. This is probably the best photo. Because we're all lined up perfectly. And only Ness is excited about it. Ever. Everyone else looks very uninterested. <laughs> Alright, so we saved your marriage. What are you going to do for us now? Thank you, you made my wife wake up. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Yeah, let's work hard. If you're courageous, get on this boat. You'll probably see the Kraken and experience getting seasick. After all, it can only cost you your life, and you got that for free. Luck will determine the outcome of this voyage. So, do you want to sail the seas to Scarab? 20 bucks per person is fine with me. Oh shit. 20 bucks. Um, so we need $80. Fuck. Alright, let's use the teleport. Let's use it right here. Let's see if we can. Fuck yeah, look at that. That's awesome. That was like the perfect distance. Um, I feel like I have to go to the hotel. To get some money. I mean... Just spend a dollar, but whatever. So we'll need 80 bucks. So let's try to even this out. Oops, that's way too much. Alright. Uh, no, fuck. Let's get two dollars out.
Because we're gonna we're gonna just save real quick. Alright, there we go. And talk to the mom. Oh wait, no, fuck. God damn. Oh my god. Oh, fuck it, we're not talking to the mom. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna stop right here, and then in the next one, we are definitely gonna go to the island, probably fight the Kraken. Who knows? But uh, we're definitely probably not gonna be here anymore. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.